hello guys and welcome to my channel in this video i'm going to show you how you can create morph targets from poses with mesh morpher so open mesh morpher select your skeletal mesh in our video we will work with the queen skeletal mesh and uh, go to tools and uh, select create from pose or go to the toolbar and select create from pose here uh, you can select uh, an animation asset or you can simply just uh, modify uh, the bones uh, manually yeah, we will uh, just uh, for the sake of this video we will use both and uh, we will see how uh, it's working right so we selected uh, an uh, animation asset and uh, we have a bone uh, uh, transformed in our pose uh, creator and now we, uh, if uh, we select a new uh, morph name and press OK. It's going to take a little bit. Uh, our morph target is now created and let's see how it looks. This is how it looks. You can test it in um, uh, Morph Target Previewer here and see uh, if uh, the result is the way you want, right? Another thing that you can use uh, Mesh Morpher is to create corrective Morph Targets from uh, for animations, right? So uh, if uh, we close this uh, Morph Target and select an uh, animation in uh, pose selector in the main window we'll see that the pose is changed and now if we go to create from pose our pose uh, animation will be automatically selected and now any change we may we make here uh, that delta it will be a morph target so the delta is uh, from this pose and this pose Sorry. So let's see how it works, right? So if uh, we uh, select a bone, let's say pinky, and just modify the pinky a little bit, and uh, select a new morph name, let's call it pinky, and press OK. gonna take a little bit now uh, the morph target is being created and we can uh, see uh, how it looks just uh, the select uh, uh, the select the uh, pose asset and uh, we open it now we can see that our pinky is uh, the only modification we have uh, in this uh, morph target. Uh, we can open uh, the skeletal mesh and uh, you can use specific animation and we'll select our uh, idle animation. And if uh, we open the idle animation as well, we can add a new curve here and we can select our pinky uh, morph target, right? So uh, if uh, we double click on this uh, uh, curve, we can uh, add the uh, keys and the uh, control the morph target using uh, the using the uh, curves, right? So let me add a key here. Okay. We're going to one so we will enable it uh, from the beginning a little bit zoom in so we can see exactly where we place this so we can enable the morph target from the beginning as you can see here it's already uh, enabled and we can add another key and just I don't know uh, 
drop it to zero at the, this frame in the animation and you will see how uh, the morph target is getting little bit disabled by time right so let's let's do it a little bit like this I'm not very familiar with the curves here so just bear with me this is how it works and now you have a curve that uh, controls the morph target this is a corrective morph target that you can use with the animation right so save it and uh, uh, this is it right so you can see this uh, curve in action even in a previous scene here and uh, yeah see you around guys and uh, bye